Hi, Kathy. Hi, Maya. Thank you for talking with me. Oh, no problem. It's my pleasure. Uh, I am just such a fan. Oh, thank and you. Your Breathless series has truly replaced your Sweet series for me. It's my very favorite. It oh, wow. Perfection. That's a tall order. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I really would love to know because Gabe, Jace, and Ash, they are the most alpha characters I have ever read. Where did you come up with those characters? What was the inspiration? Uh, you know, when I come up with a character, I, I build them in my head. I, you know, I, I start, you know, with how, it's, it's very difficult to explain because it's not like I sit down with a formula and say, I want him to have, you know, blue eyes, blonde hair. You know, when I start thinking about a story, the character just kind of pops into my head and they're already kind of fully formed. Um, you know, I don't base them on any real people. I don't base them on Hollywood actors. I don't, you know, they are absolutely unique in the fact that I picture, you know, somebody and I obsess endlessly over the name that I give them because it has to fit my image of what they look like and what their characteristics are. So, you know, it, it just, it, it starts with, you know, that image that I get when I have the story idea and I know what kind of personality they're going to have. And then I don't know everything about the character when I start reading. And that's the fun of writing the story because, you know, I learn new stuff about my characters as I'm writing. And that joy of discovery is what keeps writing fresh for me and keeps it so exciting because if I knew every single thing that happened in a book and I knew everything there was to know about every single character, I wouldn't write the story because I would be bored. I, I would no longer want to write it. Oh, please keep writing. Oh, I, I will. Love Don't worry. To live in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Now, <laughs> I, I, I even wrote in my review of Burn, you saved the last, the best for last. Oh, Ash I'm so glad you think so. Favorite. I was very worried. I, I, you know, I never want to disappoint my readers. That is the last thing I ever want to do. And, you know, disappointment is inevitable. You, you know, there's no way to please everyone. But, you know, I don't like disappointing readers. So I'm always very happy to hear from a reader who was very happy, you know, especially with the last book in a series. Yes. Oh, I want, the, I'm in such a hangover. I want the series to go on and on. <laughs> Um, now, we met some new characters. I was thrilled to meet Ash's family, some of his family, and actually see what you had talked about in the other books. Brittany, I loved. Will we be seeing Brittany and Kai in the future? Is it um, a spin off? You know, I'll anything? tell you, like I told another um, interviewer, I've learned never to say never. I will say that I do not have any immediate plans just because I have other contractual obligations. I have, you know, many more books, you know, to write. Um, so I can say not now, but I won't say never because there have been plenty. The Sweet Series wasn't supposed to be a series. The Culture Series was not supposed to be a series. So it's perfectly within the realm of possibility that I would go back and at least do a novella um, mm -hmm. you know, that's connected to the Breath of Trilogy, but, you know, I, I don't want to offer promises or guarantee because, like I said, I, I never, my purpose is never to disappoint my readers. So I can say maybe, and I won't say never, but, you know, I can definitely say I don't have any immediate plans to do that. Because um, I, would, I would love to see Brittany and Kai and Carol and Brandon just continue with the setting in Vegas. Yes. I just think it would be wonderful. Yes. Um, Ash, I, I just fell in love with, and I love your signature, Girls Night Out. And <laughs> yes, that is that is something that I began in my sweet series, and yes. it's really interesting because that is something I hear from readers over and over, that that is their favorite part of the sweet series. And like I said, and I've said many times before, the Breathless Trilogy is a marriage between the elements I liked most in the sweet series and the elements I like most in my Harlequin Desire. So the Breathless Trilogy is a combination of two things that I've already written and have written for years. And so it was really fun to get to mix and match and to throw in those different tropes and you know my favorite aspects of those stories, one of them being 
the girls' nights out because I had so much fun writing those scenes in the Sweet Series. And readers tell me all the time that those girls' night out scenes and just the everyday scenes between the girls in the Sweet Series were what was their favorite part of the entire yep. series. And so I oh. thought it would be really fun to include those in the Breathless trilogy and you will likely see them, you know, in my next trilogy releasing next year. Oh, I am now best friends with Mia and Josie and Bethany and Chessie and Kara. They're my best <laughs> friends. I'm I'm going out with them sometime yes. or another. <laughs> yes. You know, or they are if a I lot go of out, fun. I'll call everybody else their name. Um, what do you have for us in the future? What are you planning next? Well, I have um, some releases already slated, uh, slated and scheduled. I have, you know, some books that are already written. Um, I have Coulter's Gift releasing in November. And then uh, After the Storm, which is the eighth KGI novel, will release uh, at the end of December. And then next year, in 2014, I will be uh, launching a brand new trilogy called the Surrender Trilogy. And the first book will release in February. Uh, the title of it is Letting Go. Um, the second book will be releasing in um, May. And um, the third book will release in August. And if you tune in to my website, uh, and in particular my Facebook, the week of August 19th, I'm going to be giving readers a whole lot more information on that new trilogy complete with covers, they are absolutely stunning. I mean, I thought the Breathless Trilogy covers were amazing. I wanted something different. I wanted something unique and original, and my publisher absolutely delivered on that count. But let me tell you something. When you put them next to the covers for the new trilogy, oh my God, they, they pale in comparison. They are absolutely stunning. So I'll be posting the covers. I'll be posting the blurbs, titles, and release dates the week of August 19th. Oh, I'll be watching for it. I can't wait because the Breathless Trilogy, I want to take each book cover, blow it up, hang it on my wall because those were just beautiful. Yes, well, and I think I'm you'll be very happy with the new covers. Another. I will say that I've never framed any of my covers, and I'm in the process of building a house, and I'm, you know, building my office, my little writing escape, and I absolutely plan to frame the covers for the Surrender Trilogy and hang them in my office. They're that gorgeous. Oh, wow. I cannot wait. Maya, I know our time is limited, but thank you so much. You have no idea what a fan I am. And oh, well, I appreciate you so much. And it's been talk wonderful to, to talk with you, Kathy. I've really enjoyed it. Well, enjoy, and I will be watching for the Surrender Series for okay. sure. I, ho I, hope, you, I you. hope you enjoy it.